guys, it's Tori, and you are watching Tori TV. Today is going to be the first edition of a new series called Tell Me a Story, Tori, which is probably the dumbest title I could have come up for, but whatever. This is just going to be a series where I tell you stories that make you probably think less of me, but I think it's fun. Because I'm trying to kind of steer away from the beauty guru type thing and more fun. Does that? No. Okay. This is the story of the umbrella incident. Uh, one day I was walking to the bus and it was pouring rain outside and I had an umbrella because I am a smart and prepared person when it comes to weather. So I'm standing at the bus stop and everyone else is either in their cars because their parents will drive them or they're standing there with an umbrella. And this girl walks up without an umbrella and she doesn't even have a hood on. She's sitting there being drenched and I'm standing there with my umbrella on the phone trying to pretend nothing's happening. And I'm just looking at her I'm like, crap, like, should I, you're, like, this close to me, should I creepily walk over and put my umbrella over you? Should I just stand here? Like, I was so, like, internally conflicted, and I just didn't know what to do. And, like, I knew her, like, we're, like, kind of neighbors, like, she lives over there, and we were in homeroom together, and I think, like, sixth or seventh grade, so I was like, I don't know what to do here, so I stood there like an idiot and decided to tweet about it. So, let me read you this tweet. I tweeted this, and maybe I'll insert it here, maybe I won't. Having an umbrella at a bus stop puts you in a weird situation. I know we were in the same homeroom in 7th grade, but do you deserve it? Umbrella emoji. <laughs> this makes me want to cry. I got 11 favorites. That was a lot for a tweet. So I guess it was relatable, but I'm sitting there on the bus just listening to some Lana Del Rey and trying to forget that I'm going to school. And the girl that I was talking about was sitting, I think, like, the seat in front of me or, like, somewhere in the general vicinity. And all of a sudden, I get a notification on my phone that she... <laughs> I can't even... That she had favorited the tweet. <laughs> Ugh. So... She had to know that I was talking about her. Who else? Like, oh my god. She knew that this tweet was about her, and she favored it. And I was sitting there, internally dying, even more so than I was when I was considering putting the umbrella over her. Over her. And I'm sitting in my group text with some of my friends, and I'm sure, like, if you guys are watching, you remember this. And I was, like, freaking out. I was like, oh my god, she favored the tweet. And I was like... <laughs> I felt so awful and so, like, conflicted, and I still don't know if I should have, like, sh like, seriously, like, comment below, should I have put this umbrella over her, or would that have been creepy? I don't know. I feel like she would not have done the same thing if I was the one without the umbrella, but still, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, to end the story, like, I think it was, like, probably, like, the next week later, or a few days later, it rains again. And I had my umbrella. And this time, I think she had an umbrella. I'm not positive. Because I didn't have the same internal struggle. So, I sit on the bus. And I'm sitting there. And then someone tries to sit with me. So I try to move my stuff on top of me so I can make room for them. My umbrella falls onto the ground. And it starts to roll to the back of the bus. So... <laughs> So I'm like, crap. Like, I can't just, like, go down or stay out on the bus. So I just walk out. I'm like, okay, forget the umbrella. So then a few days later, the umbrella appears. And the bus driver makes an announcement that whoever owned this umbrella needs to come and take it. Me, for some reason, felt like this was a bad thing that I left my umbrella on the bus because she seemed kind of upset. So I left it there. And about, like, a month later... She made in another announcement and was like, whoever left this umbrella needs to take it or it's going to disappear. And I was like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do? So I'm sitting there texting my friend who's sitting next to me. I'm like, oh my god, that's my umbrella. I don't want to take it. I don't want to look stupid because I've, I've left it there for like over a month now. She's like, dude, just take it. I was like, no, I can't do it. So I left the umbrella on the bus and it disappeared. <laughs> If that's not karma, then I don't know what karma is. Like, ugh, I don't know. This just, this, this just made me feel so stupid. So, 
If you enjoyed this series where I tell you interesting stories, then make sure to give it a thumbs up because I would like to continue it. I think this is kind of a fun new thing we got going here. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the story of the umbrella incident. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if you have any crazy or similar stories, leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, hopefully we will have lots more of these interesting conversations. Love you guys so much. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you next Monday. Mwah! See you later. Bye! Okay. I'm pathetic. Okay. Let's do this. So today is going to be the first edition of it. <laughs> what?